And only on two, big break. Police arrest four men accused of targeting bank customers. Our camera, the only one there, as the accused crooks are corralled. Our exclusive report on these arrests comes just one week after we showed you a 102-year-old woman ambushed and robbed after a trip to the bank. Well, it's not clear if the men who were arrested tonight were the same ones who targeted that woman. What is clear, they operate exactly the same way. Our Sion Rhodes is live now with how police caught these guys. Sion. And Houston police say there's been a major increase in bank juggings in this area. They say the four men arrested today are known gang members and known bank juggers. Suspects now in dozens of these crimes who've gotten away until now. Eugenio was headed to a landscaping job when he stopped at a bank near FM 529 and Highway 6 and had no idea he was being watched. When they think they have somebody who has a large amount of money, They'll follow them. He'd taken out cash to pay his crew, and Houston police say these four men trailed him to a subdivision off Tanner Road, then broke into his truck while he was working and stole the money. When he looked and realized the money wasn't there, he was mortified. I didn't try to steal anything, man. I don't know what you're talking about. What HPD and Harris County Sheriff's deputies caught the men a short time later, recovering Eugenio's cash along with other money and window breaking tools. Do you have anything you want to say? All of the suspects have prior criminal histories, one out on bond for another crime, two others currently on parole. Police say there's a simple way to avoid becoming a victim. Don't make a stop in between the bank and where you're ultimately going to store that money or who you're ultimately going to give it to because then it's prey to people who want to take the time to follow you and try and take it. And offer this advice for other would-be crooks. If you're trying to victimize people who are just going about their daily lives, it's not going to end well for you. You're going to go to jail and we're going to try and put you in jail for as long as we can. And police now will work to see if these men are connected to other jugging cases as they suspect that they are. Those men facing charges of engaging in organized criminal activity and burglary. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.